Hello, hello, hello. It's me, your friendly-faced, big-faced Swirly Pilgrim. Chapter 5, Season 3 is here. We're all getting wrecked. I haven't seen the trailer yet, so we're going to take a look at the trailer here now. Uh, we're also going to look through the entire Battle Pass, see what all the goodies are coming to us this season. I think it's going to be pretty good. I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this Battle Pass, and I think you guys will be too. If you're grabbing the Battle Pass, or if you're grabbing any of the skins of the shop, make sure to use creator code SWALTZ, because it, it really helps me out. Um, and that, I mean, that's all I can ask. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I hope you enjoy the trailer and the Battle Pass. Let's, uh, let's get into it, and let's have a look. This is the trailer. Let's see what we're in store for here. That's the sandstorm that's been slowly approaching the island. This is not Rocket League, but they've done... Uh, the creators of Rocket League have their own game mode inside Fortnite. Oh, that ship's coming hard! Oh my god, all right. Jeez, they didn't really slow down, did they? Oh my god! Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that one. Ah. Yeah, that, that song was Peabody. Oh, these are the new skins. The Machinist. Okay, I need to pay attention. I'm excited about Metallica. There's so much happening. The T60 power armor from Fallout. Oh my God, that looks so cool. Look at these vehicles. Grapple hooks, Nuka Cola, bottle caps. There's so much stuff happening. <laughs> Vehicle weapons, let's go! Is that a big bus? The vans have tires, massive tires on them now? What the? It's fucking Magneto! Wasteland Magneto? What the hell? <laughs> this is the coolest thing. Oh my god. God dang. Lots to look forward to. All right, oh my God, look at this. We're introduced to the characters this season. We got the machinist with uh, with this loading screen. I'm a sucker for the loading screens, right? I just, I just, I just love the art that they put into the game. And this is incredible. I love this. Look at this color. I just like the art styles that they go with. Look, look at this. This is incredible. Look at these like greens and blues and pinks and purples and yellows. Like it's just, it's just so vibrant. We got our first back bling of the season. The ignition pack. All right, pretty decent. I'm not a big fan of the back blings, but that's that's all right. First glider of the season. Very cool. All right, very scrappy. Very, very... Would you call that steampunk or is that like junk punk? Is that a thing? I don't know. It looks pretty sick, though. Very cool. Look at that. It looks like it's going to like pop, 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 sputter on its way down and stuff. We've got ourselves an emote. Very nice. Okay, let's quickly move past those. We got our first pickaxe of the season, the hydraulic slammer. This is a big fucking wrench, because why not? Smack someone with that. I like the uh, little keychain in the bottom. Let's have a look at our emote. What do we got here? Oh, all right. Very cool. Very cool. Diesel punk. That's what it is. Yeah, there we go. Very oil. Very oil and, and grease based. Yeah, very grimy, dirty, rusty. Weathered, worn, beaten, broken, battered. I'm a thesaurus today. I like this chair. This is a nice chair. Oh shit, we're getting Lego stuff. Lego stuff in the regular battle pass. Dang. Get ourselves a nice battle uh, Lego blockade. That's pretty cool. That'll certainly spice up the entrance to your base, wouldn't it? And then we've got the machinist herself. All right, very nice. I like her massive wrench, as you would. She's just got a bunch of gear on. Oh, and she has a mask or not. Very cool. I like the shorts, the spikes. Like, this is just a solid design. She's given kind of, kind of like Diva May vibes, like almost like a little bit of both. I don't know. She's given Overwatch vibes. Maybe that's just because maybe Brigida as well. And like just the, the diesel punk kind of style. I don't know. Very Overwatch vibes up for, um, from the machinist. Uh, then we got some more art here. Again, just another solid art style. Look at all these like vehicles coming along and this, this other new POI in the background. We got a machinist spray. Very cool. We've got that same glider, but it's blue this time, which is very cool. Uh, a little less diesel punk, a little bit more. I don't know. This one seems a bit more clean. I don't know. Less diesel punk and more futuristic. I think this one's giving me futuristic vibes for some reason. We got a song. What's this song? Is this going to be the song of the season or is it going to not be? Time to find out. Let's give it a listen. It's got a decent build up. Okay. Where's the drop, though? Oh! 
Okay. Running on fire and steel. Okay. All right. Well, we'll have to we'll have to hear it a bit more in, in use throughout. But that, that doesn't sound that awful. It doesn't go as hard as I'd like it to. But we'll see. We'll see. We got two engines strapped to our hands with fire coming out of them. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Why not? You might as well. If you got some engines sitting around, you might as well. And we got the backpack, uh, but it's blue this time as well. And then we've got the machinist, but she's blue. Oh, blue and green kind of, not just a color swap. Her her mask isn't just blue, you know what I mean? It's 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 different, entirely different. I love the hair on this one too. Damn. All right, machinist looking good, I think, for the first for the first skin. Pretty good. I like her belts. Like I like excessive belts. I've always been a guy who likes excessive belts. And we've got Rust. Okay, so this is not Bobby Whiplash. His name is Rust, which is pretty cool. I'm here for that. But listen, we'll we'll. We'll toss around the nickname Bobby Whiplash every now and then. <laughs> I like this wallpaper as well. Very like hand drawn, very like sketch kind of feeling, which gives gives it like a gives it like a, a a rushed kind of rusty old kind of feel as well. Just because it's not precise, it's not clean, it's a bit messy. Kind of fits the uh, fits the vibe of the season. Yeah, that's it. Very very graphic uh, graphic novel vibes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got the metal head back bling, which is just another kind of engine, but it's a skeleton, a metal skeleton. Very cool, big fan of that. Does he talk? I'd like to hear if he talks. I like my talking skeletons. Then his pickaxe looks like it's just some scrapped together uh, metal axe, which is pretty badass. That's uh, that's a nice looking pickaxe right there. That's pretty good. It also has the uh, the skull on the top there. Skeleton, you say? Oh, Zimby Grim making his way into uh, into Fortnite. Okay. Okay. All right. That, this is the, this is incredible. Oh my God, what, a, what an emote. <laughs> this is amazing. This is the coolest thing in the world. Look at him go. This is the kind of heaviness that I wanted from that song earlier. This is what I wanted right here. And then we've got Rust himself. He's got the Metallica shirt on and everything. Oh, that's amazing. He's got a like beat up vest. He's got that massive shoulder pad on with extra bullets just in case you need. Like, this is so good. This is such a good Wasteland character pack. Like, all these skins have so far been incredible. Like, his like sidearm, he's got his keys. And we've got Rust page two, which again, also sees a bit of a, bit of a scratchier kind of art style here. But aside from, you know, brown and dirty colors, you've got bright and vibrant, which goes against it, contrasts it perfectly. And here's the glider. Very nice, very nice, very cool. It's again, very diesel punk, very like, um, like kind of futuristic as well though, with the, with the like Tesla coil, connections there but you've also got like just a massive grinder on the front oh this is just so cool sucks that you fall you, you grab onto hooks underneath it and it's not you know just a car that you come down in but still pretty damn cool then you can burn rubber then you've got the corrosive wrecking axe which is the wrecking axe again but this one is blue it looks like it's got some goo on it Looks like it's corrosive, so maybe he's just covered in, covered it in acid. Because why not? Why not? If you're going into a fight, you might as well dip your ass, your ass, <laughs> dip your axe. Don't dip your ass in acid. And then we've got corrosive rust as well. Oh, I like the tattoos coming up his arm, like almost like they're. Uh... Oh, it's like music. Okay, nice. Very cool. He's got the rust-colored hair. I like this variation. I think I like uh, the machinist a bit better in the two variations, but rust is pretty dope all the same. Oh my God, now we've got Peabody. Nobody mods like the pods. I think this is gonna be my go-to guy this season. All right, based off of that trailer at the beginning. What is it? What is this, sentient peas that came to life? Part of the pea boys set? Pea boys Oh, I'm a pea boy 100%. I'm a piss boy. I pee all the time. Look at this little guy. This is great art right off the bat. We've got a pea boy song. I'm in my, I'm in my zone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Oh no. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the pee boys gotta go hard, all right, not gonna lie. Part of the pee, part of the pod, part of the pee, part of the pod, exactly. I'm suddenly a pee boy fanboy. The pee buddies, pee leave in the next generation. Their faces are changing. They've got all sorts of different expressions. It does sound like Meatball from the weird adult shit. Uh, what was that called? That was called, I can picture it. It's got the, it's got the, it's got wad, and it's got the french fries, and it's got the drink. Aqua Teen Hunger Force, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got P Ridgibles. Oh, this is so good. This is such a good glider. I've, I, I've been saying that I really like the grenade glider from the TMNT set, and this gives that vibe, but it's like, it's different. 
I love the green smoke that it's given off. Oh, I love their little hats. This is incredible. P-Boys. Peace out, dude. Oh, yes. And then you've got the, uh, just the, the leaves, the, the vines hanging off of you. I don't, I don't, uh, just like the back blings, I'm not a big fan of the, uh, whatever you call these, the, the trails. I usually have them off, but this is pretty good. It fits the theme, it fits the character. Then we've got Peabody, who's just, he's three peas in a pod. It's just three, three guys in a trench coat trying to get into a movie theater. Show me your pickaxes again. It looks like he's got a hammer and a wrench. Pretty cool. He looks like just the just your friendly like scrap mechanic, you know. Like he's just hanging out in the uh, down at the at the at the station. He'll fix your car for free. He won't cheap you out on it or anything. I like him, and he's like mostly green, which I you've got to imagine will will help in some areas on the map. Maybe not in all the new sandy areas, but you know. What's his uh, what's his page two gonna look like though? Now I can't wait. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Slap Peabody. Since when does a shark eat vegetables? Oh my god! Is this dude a shark? The whole that ship that they arrived on looks like a shark. Oh my god! Okay. Don't hurt Peabody. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> That, oh, guys, that is incredible. What a good emote. Yeah. And then they all explode. Oh, I am sold on Peabody, man. This is incredible. And then you've got this, but yellow, which is very good. Mel would be a big fan. I, I love this. The yellow works so well. You've got this one again, but it's yellow. And then you do get his, yeah, his hammer and his, his wrench with the little P guys on the bottom there. Oh, they're so handsome. New banner icon as well. And then of course we get yellow P buddy, which is pretty dope. Again, the green and the yellow both work very well with, with the Fortnite map. You've got lots of grass and you've got lots of sand now. So maybe that'll, maybe that'll fit in. Then we've got Ringmaster Scar. Okay, so we've got our, we've got our, our punk, punk lady over here doing, doing big yells at the monster truck jam, it seems. Very cool. I wonder if this is one of the POIs. Is there like a, a, like a monster truck arena set up somewhere? That'd be pretty sick. We've got another pickaxe. This one looks like it's a, just a small, like a hand axe instead of a big, massive axe, but I like the neon, like the neon tube that she's added here. You're getting the diesel punk, but you're also getting like the, the techno punk here as well with the with the neon and the bright pink and the bright purples and stuff like that. Like that's really, really cool. End of the race emote, very, f okay. We've got another head to put on the, put on our back, which looks like um, it's some sort of wolf head, a bear head with just neon, neon tube there as well. We've got a new wolf banner icon. And then we've got Ringmaster Scar herself, all right. All right, so this is one of our other skins. Pretty good, I like her hair. She's got like the, the mic on her belt. Cause I guess, yeah, she's the ringmaster. She guess, I guess she hosts like the, the monster car, the monster truck guy rallies. Pretty good, pretty good. I like her shoulder pads, the glasses, like that's pretty decent. I don't know, I don't want to say it's bland cause it's not bland, but it's just a little, there's something about it. I like it, but I don't love it. And I, I feel like I should love it. You know what I mean? Oh shit, <laughs> okay. Ruiner scar. All right, maybe this is more so what we were looking for. Look at this art. This is really good. This looks almost like uh, like it's painted, it, like a movie poster, like a like a grindhouse movie poster almost. And we've got another glider, your traditional style looking glider, Drome Drifter. All right, okay. It doesn't really seem to fit in for me. I don't I don't think it doesn't really match the other ones. It's a bit of a different style. I don't hate it, but like this this almost seems the 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 cloth on top with its like disco colors. I don't know the disco patterns and stuff aren't really doing it for me. It's not given diesel punk anymore. It's given it's given disco. And I don't know if that that's where we're going for. 90s disco kind of thing, you know what I mean? This is pretty sick though. I like this. Neon signs as well. Also giving 90s, which is not giving diesel punk. Are we breathing fire now? Oh yeah, we're breathing fire. Pretty good. All right, that's pretty standard. Nothing crazy about that one, but that was fun. And then we've got Ruiner Scar, which is Scar, but I guess in her competing uniform, she's got the, the hyena mask on with the, all right, this is much cooler. <laughs> this is much cooler. She's got the gear on and you can take the mask off if you want. Megaphone in hand, battle gear on. What do we got here now? Okay, we've got the T60 power armor in the battle pass. This is something I will be learning about. I am going to try out some Fallout um, over the next month or two. Looking forward to understanding this stuff a bit more. We've got, all right, that's a pretty decent weapon, weapon skin. 
I'm not a big fan of the wraps, but that is pretty dope. That is pretty sick. You've got the Fallout menu on the side. You've got the, the Fallout gray and rusty metal kind of guns like that. That's pretty sick. It counts kills. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Shows your kill counter on the side of the on the side of the gun. That's pretty dope. We've got the Assaultron blade freshly harvested from a decommissioned Assaultron part of the Brotherhood of Steel set. All right. It was just a big freaking sword. So why not? And we got the Pip Boy, the back bling. What a special little guy. I like the uh, I like the menu flashing through. All the different perks and stuff. New banner icon as well. You could just have uh, have your banner now. Just be just be Vault Boy. Cause why not? Makes sense. And then you got the power armor itself. I mean, it sure looks like power armor from Fallout. It sure looks like power armor from Fallout. That's pretty sick. Seeing one of these sliding down a hill at you with a shotgun, like oh my god terrifying we got the hot rod t60 power armor so it's just a different power armor it looks like different different colors but they're taking part in the fortnite festivities in this art style anyway then we've got ourselves an emote codsworth then you've got the vault boy emote different expressions very cool don't get to see many of them it seems west tech wings so we got a fallout glider as well Looks pretty cool. I mean, that looks like a standard glider to me because I have no reference, but I mean, it looks like pretty damn good. It fits with the with the wasteland kind of vibe as well. Big fan of that. And we've got the vault boy again, but it's red with hot rod flames. And then we got the hot rod T60 power armor, which is just the same thing, but it's red with hot rod flames. Very, very cool. Then we get the bright raider who looks like just another uh, another wasteland survivor doing big snipe shots at a massive freaking train. Looks pretty cool. We got ourselves a broken heart but it's it's rainbows we got a wasteland rainbow uh uh wrap which i'm a big fan of that's pretty cool i like that we've got bitey oh very good this is the pickaxe okay so it's a motorized llama pickaxe which is pretty cool bitey the llama a good name big fan of that don't don't want to get hit with that hit with that horn on the top though dang ouch ouch i like that i like the the like uh shoelaces like strapping it together that's cool that that gives me like uh converse <laughs> converse shoes vibes i like that wasteland drifter oh that's kind of trippy oh god that hurts my brain to look at what is what is that what, ah, ah, ah. are you gliding are you sli I, I, I don't know what's going on i don't know what's happening i uh, we've got bright raider okay very cool this is one of your standard Fortnite skins, but spoosed up a little bit. She's got a Walkman on, which is pretty sick. I like that. Oh, sorry. Spoilers again. Clumsy fingers. She's got her uh, llama shirt on as well. Looks like uh, very apocalyptic. Very wasteland. I like the goggles. I'm, you know, of course, I like the, the hair, the pink hair. Big fan of that. We've got more art with her as well. And that looks like Hope there in the, in the bottom left. Pretty cool. I like that art. Very comic book style. Very graphic novel style like earlier. We got her spray as well. We got a different variation on the bitey. We've got the pastel bitey, which is really, really cool. I like this. This is really good. It's given given pink pink smoke out the top. Keeps the shoelaces, makes everything pink. Very, very good. Very, very good. Looks like we've got our our new dance emote. What do we got? This is big news, all right? It's not gonna be the hunting ground. What's it gonna be? All right, okay. Wait for that drop. Okay, it just goes on like that. All right. I've got a feeling that's not going to be the dance we use this season. I've got a feeling I know what one is. Uh, but then we've got our final guy, Megalodon. I guess this is the, the leader, the guy who came in on the shark boat. He's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. Now that's a pretty cool rap too. I like the I like the tubes. I like the brown and gray, like kind of metal and the spray paint on it. That's that's pretty decent. I like that. Don's Dominator. So he's just got a massive hammer, which uh, yeah, that that that's pretty dope. We've got his banner icon as well. We've got the back bling. Pretty decent. A lot of these back blings are engine with a different look. You know what I mean? They're all kind of similar, but they're all pretty great. We've got nitro smog. Okay, all right. More, more lightning and smoke. It's basically Olympus all over again, but it's not blue this time. It's, it's red. <laughs> uh, and then we've got the man himself, Megalodon. Oh, because it's Megalodon. I get it. Yeah. 
Duh. All right, he looks he looks pretty sick. He looks like he's he's kind of kind of a bit like Bane, right? He's got stuff that's like fueling him. I assume this is nitro. Is his uh, is his second form gonna be just a different color, or is this nitro gonna like activate and power him up or something? That'd be kind of cool. Let's find out together. Oh yeah, see now his head's on fire. <laughs> I'd imagine that has something to do with the nitro. There's the Nas. We've got another song. I don't know if we're going to get to hear much of it. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I can get into that one. This one sounds pretty dick. R dope and sick. Comes out of his dick. <laughs> that song sounds pretty dick. Uh, we've got the, the mobile Megalodon. That's pretty dope. Oh my god. How are you not gonna use that? That's so that's so good for Pirate Week as well. It's the robotic shark. Why not? That is so cool. Get nitroed. Yeah, look, there's his transformation. Just like Hades. Oh he is Bane. He's ba he's basically Bane. Nitro Fusion Megalodon. Look at him. Oh, dang. And then we've got some of the first few bonus uh, rewards. We've got the Oasis Megalodon, which is pretty sick. This is amazing. I love this. We've got the Raiders Trophy. Okay, so just a steering wheel on your back. Very cool. I like that. We've got the uh, Clang and Basher. Uh, they're uh, silver this time around. We've got Night Hunter Scar, which is just Scar again, but with a recolor. Green instead of... Purple and pink, I believe. We've got the Overseer, which is pretty sick. I like the red, the black and red, the brown and red. We got that one, but it's white. Chugging away. We've got the Black Knight T60 power armor. Oh my God. Look at that. Okay, out of all the T60 power armors, this is by far the coolest one. You got the Black Knight Pip Boy as well that goes along with that one. You've got the Oasis Dominator. So you got the hammer that's blue and, and, blue and white instead. And it looks like we're gonna get Don himself as white and blue. So you'd imagine that he probably has a power-up form where the fire is blue, right? You'd imagine that that's probably coming up in the bonuses. Three pages of bonuses that we still don't know about yet. That's that's exciting. We got the seasonal quest rewards there. We've got the cobalt hammer. All right, so it's just the, the wrench, but instead of red, it's, it's blue now. We've got Oxide Rust, which is white. I love all that. That's so cool. That's like, welcome to the new season. But remember last season when everything was white and white and gold? Don't forget. And we've got the Wasteland Rider. So this is just another recolor on the other one. But this is like brown and red. I like that. That's really cool. You got Nitro Flare Machinist. So she's just got a different outfit. This is definitely given Brigida from, from Overwatch now as well. A little less like it's it's more red and black than like red and yellow and black, but like I like it. I like it. And then we've got more pages of, of, of mystery. But look at this. Just when you think you've seen everything, it's freaking Magneto. <laughs> and I don't know why. He's just here. Wasteland Magneto. I wonder if we're gonna get four other Wasteland X-Men. So we were we were wondering what was gonna happen. So it looks like Fallout is just in the battle pass and it's part of the season. Magneto looks like he's going to be the like the event pass that comes along. So I guess we're getting a we're getting an X-Men event pass. Maybe apocalypse themed? A mini pass with the X-Men. If Avatar had all the way, all the Avatar stuff, Ninja Turtles had all the Ninja Turtle stuff. What X-Men stuff are we going to get? You'd imagine you're probably going to get some way of picking up metal or something. How are they, how are they going to do that? Give me give me give me Cyclops's laser eyes. Give me Storm Omega level powers. That's what I want. All right. That's a pretty solid battle pass, if you ask me. That's a pretty solid battle pass. Yes! Get f snooty steps. Get f snooty steps. <laughs> it's gone. It's sandy steps now. Maybe it's less shitty.